Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Suffolk, otherwise known as Battle Hills Point, located in Suffolk, Virginia on the 13th to 15th of April, 1863. The Union defenders of Suffolk had not been idle over the past few months. As Union Major General John J. Peck had constructed more than 15 miles of entrenchments and eight forts, all to protect his 17,000 Union soldiers from an expected Confederate attack. The defenses also helped protect the southern approach to the Norfolk Shipbuilding Harbor at least 15 miles east of Suffolk. Suffolk was a thorn in the side of the Confederate General Longstreet in his attempt to gather enough supplies for the Confederate Army. Unfortunately, the fort was much too strong to assault directly, but he had to do something. Deciding he wanted to try and lure Peck out of his defenses, he sent Confederate General John Bell Hood, George E. Pickett, and Samuel G. French to trap the Union forces inside the fort, while the Confederate Major Raphael Moses of the 1st Corps Commissary led the Confederate commissary wagons and forged for food for the army. The 13th of April is when the Confederate forces pushed against Suffolk, and they were even able to build a Confederate artillery position on Hills Point. The sole purpose was to cause havoc with Union shipping, and they took advantage of this position when a Union ship, the Mount Washington, was ravaged by artillery fire trying to slip past both Hill Point and the Confederate batteries at North Fleet House further up the river. Unexpectedly, though, the Confederates came under heavy artillery fire from new Union batteries that had been constructed under the cover of night. The artillery attack was damaging enough that it drove the Confederate forces back away from Suffolk. Estimated losses were 99 Union casualties, including dead, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates suffered 80 soldiers killed, wounded, captured, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.